It is a disgrace that the media within Thailand has not even mentioned the death of Rocio Leticia Gomez, who took a fatal diving lesson with Pura Vida Diving on the 17th of December 2018 and died four days later. I wish to express my condolences to her family and friends. The death of the 39-year-old woman from Argentina was widely covered by the media in her country from the 9th to the 11th of January 2019. However, deaths of tourists on Koh Tao, also known as Death Island, are so common that journalists might think that they are not newsworthy. In addition, in addition, the criminal defamation laws in Thailand are very draconian. Those laws prevent the media from reporting properly on important events that might embarrass powerful people. After two British tourists were murdered on Koh Tao in 2014, the headman of Koh Tao sued a news service called Khao Side English and extracted an apology. On the 22nd of December 2014, a Norwegian girl, Silje Matheson, 22, was hit and killed by a boat from Pura Vida uh, diving. She was taking her first lesson with Scuba Junction Diving School. The Thai boat captain did plead guilty to negligence causing death. The English diving instructor, Ricky Collins, was also charged, but he returned to England and did not face justice. Here is a list of 16 foreigners who have died on Koh Tao since the 30th of August 2012. Some were murdered, some died in highly suspicious circumstances, one vanished, and three have died in avoidable accidents. If you think this video is informative, Please press like and share with your friends on social media. I would also like to read your comments below. I can read any Spanish comments using Google Translate. I shall post a link to a music video that was produced calling, called Death Island of the Sitting Sun, which is in English with some Thai subtitles. Please watch that video and give me your opinions. Thank you for watching until the end. Rest in peace, Rosio Gomez.